turn your Raspberry Pi into a high-end PC. Yeah, right. Okay, that's not a claim that I would ever make, but it is a claim that's being made by the people who built the Puffin internet browser. Today, I'm going to put that claim to the test, and I'm going to show you how you can install it, and you can test it out for yourself. Let's do this thing. Okay, so in a nutshell, Puffin is a browser that uses web servers to process and encrypt data that you're looking at online. It's a great browser for end-user privacy and security. It also safely supports Flash. All of this being said, I am in no way affiliated with Cloudmosa Incorporated, the developers of Puffin Browser. On the Puffin website, I stumbled across the Puffin Internet Terminal and its claim of turning a Raspberry Pi into a high-end PC. On this same page, there's a video showing the performance of Raspbian's built-in Chromium browser versus the Puffin Internet Terminal, and the results are pretty impressive. If you've ever used a Raspberry Pi for internet browsing, you know that it can be a pretty painful endeavor. But, ever the skeptic, I wondered if the results in this video are of a best-case scenario. So I decided to perform my own tests. Setup is really simple. I just downloaded the system image and used Bellina Etcher to flash the image to a micro SD card. After you download the image, insert a micro SD card into your PC and open Etcher. In Etcher, select your downloaded system image, then select your micro SD card and click flash. It's just that easy. After that's done, eject the micro SD card from your computer, insert it into your Raspberry Pi and power on the device. It could take a few minutes for initial setup, but if you did everything right, you'll see this on your Raspberry Pi's main screen. And now you're ready to give the Puffin Internet Terminal a go. You can launch Puffin with this icon right here. For my first set of tests, I compared performance between Chromium and Puffin with the websites that Puffin tested in their video. These websites were ESPN, eBay, Amazon, and CNN. So as not to be accused of political bias, I also threw in Fox News. And I've heard some people are using this website called YouTube, so I'll throw that in as well. Alright, so based on those tests, all I can say is wow. Those are some pretty impressive load times. One of the things that I always ran into problems with in Chromium on the Pi was multiple tab browsing. So I decided to put some strain on Puffin in that regard. Surprisingly, it held up extremely well. So I decided to test Flash capabilities. I went to good old Newgrounds to play some Flash games on Chromium, and they wouldn't even load. During one instance, attempting to load a Flash game on Chromium completely crashed and rebooted the Raspberry Pi. But Puffin loaded everything right up that I tried. Time for a speed test. Uh, okay, so I don't think Puffin's upload speed was accurate. Anyway, moving on to my last test. My newest obsession these days, GeoGuessr. This simple yet addictive Google Maps game is basically unplayable in Chromium on the Pi, but on Puffin? Well, it's pretty unplayable with Puffin too. Oh well, you can't win them all. So in closing, will Puffin turn your Raspberry Pi into a high-end PC? No, absolutely not. Anybody who sets out with that goal in mind is going to be setting themselves up for disappointment. Puffin does supercharge your browsing experience on the Raspberry Pi, and that makes it completely worth it to install. Is it as good as browsing on a full-blown PC? No, it's not. But it's not bad. It's it's almost there. If you use a Raspberry Pi on a regular basis and you're doing a lot of web browsing, it's absolutely worth installing. Performance-wise, it leaves Chromium in the dust. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content uploads. I'm also on social media. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon.
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. As always, stick around till after the credits if you want to get God. Get ready. Get ready. Here it is. Here it is. Uh...